Megara, I have to ask you something, please. We really need to talk. For once, I think you're right. Although I'm curious, what is it that you think we have to talk about? I still have feelings for you. At least, I think I do. Isn't there... Isn't there some way for us to, you know, work through all of this? In spite of everything that's happened, and that's happening right now, what are the outcomes, Zagreus? Either you eventually succeed and leave this place, or else what, exactly? I haven't thought that far ahead, but I don't think it has to be this way. I don't hate you, Meg. I don't think I can ever hate you. Despite my best intentions, unfortunately, I don't know that I can say the same. Look, I'm at a very difficult point in my career. I need to focus on that now. Do we understand each other? I... I think so. Ambrosia. You know the penalty for attempting to sway an overseer of the House of Hades with foreign contraband, don't you? I can't entirely say I do, though if it involves lashings and whatnot, I already get more than my share of that, so figured I would take the risk. So what do you say? I say hand over the damn bottle. I'll see that it's disposed of properly. Now, as for you, you wouldn't know who misplaced something like this, would you? On my authority as overseer? Hang on to it. Though if you tell so much as anyone, What? Wow. I'll cherish her. Meg, what's going on with Nix and Dusa, do you know? I think they've been butting heads a bit lately. I can't imagine why. Nix has her under strict orders, yet you keep on stopping by for your little chats. You think she doesn't notice? What does she care? I talk to everybody around here at least a bit. It's not my business, Ag. Not even for Dusa, but you watch yourself. How is this my fault? A new addition to the old collection. Hey, Than, for all the times you've bailed me out and just all the times you've been around for me, I thought I'd get you this, the real thing. Ambrosia? Zagreus, where did you even... Don't you think this is a bit excessive? You say that like it's a bad thing. A little bit of excess from time to time never hurt anyone, I'm sure. Oh, you would be surprised. Though if you're going to embarrass me, you know what? I am going to reciprocate. Behold. What? Thanatos, is this... You're really giving more to me? I... I'm deeply honored. You're really staying, Zagreus? I mean, between the generally ill-conceived attempts to reach the surface every so often. I am. I figured it's the only way I could continue interrupting you while you try to do your job. You work too hard, then. Live a little, right? Huh. Well then. I'll see what I can do about that. You'll have to show me what you mean by live a little, though. I'll hold you to that. Excellent.
I do, sir. Congratulations on completing your assignment with the lounge. Look at this place. It's better than ever. All thanks to your effort and dedication. Here, this is for you. Something special for the occasion. Whoa! I... This... This is Ambrosia, Prince! But this is for gods! This isn't for someone like me! But... Wait! Wait, wait! No! Here! I'm going to do it! I am going to do it! Here! Take this! I got it! Just for you! So take it! Please! Farewell! A Cathonic Companion! Do so, really? You're the best. New one there. Listen, boy -o. I don't know exactly how to put this, so I'm just going to come right out. I need your help with something, and I'll be honest, I don't think you're going to like it. If it doesn't involve hacking away at you with reckless abandon, Skelly, I don't want to hear it. But, oh, you're being serious. I am. And funny you should put it like that. boy -o, I am asking you to get me out of here. Permanently, if you catch my drift. This standing around stuff just kind of wears on you after a while, you know? I know. I can only imagine. Tell me what I can do. That blade of yours back there, it's got a special power. You gotta spruce it all the way up, your aspect, not somebody else's. Then let me have it with that thing, and I'm out of here. Then you'd be dead forever. You're asking me to kill you. I know it's a lot to dump on you, but I got my reasons. I don't exactly have a lot of options here, so give it some thought. Till then, we'll act like nothing's changed, all right? All right. Maybe. Maybe this one. I've returned. My aspect of Stygius grows stronger. Stygius, reveal your secrets. That's it, the blade. You gotta let me have it with that thing. That's it, keep going. I'm finally free, boyo. Farewell, Skelly. <laughs> Got you pretty good again, didn't I, boyo? I am asking you to get me out of here. <laughs> all that stuff about your blade and your aspect, I mean, you ate all of it right up. <laughs> it appears I've been the victim of an elaborate prank. I'm not sure that I appreciate it, Skelly. What if I were to never hit you again? How would you like that? Whoa, 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 whoa. Now, come on, boyo. It was just a joke. I figured things could lighten up a little here. Don't need to do anything rash. And no more tricks like that again. Oh. Skelly, while I know your services have already been paid in full, your sources ought to know you've been doing an excellent job. So much so, I wanted to give you this. Oh, is that a vintage bottle of Ambrosia, pal? I never even thought I'd get to try a thing like that. I mean, what am I here? You know what? I want you to have this to symbolize our friendship and in case you ever need a hand out there. Skelly, mate. You really shouldn't have. Do you have any idea how hard to find this is? Let's see what that one does.
I've meant to ask you something, stranger. Would you mind doing me a favor, please? If it happens to come up along your path. Suppose I ought to tell it to you first, prior to asking a response. No, of course, sir. What is it? What's on your mind? If I know my Achilles, then he's being rather guarded when it comes to this predicament we're in. How can somebody be so brash yet hate to take unnecessary risks? Just let him know I said to risk it all. Risk it all? Risk what all? He wants what's best for you. He wouldn't want anything to happen. It's already long since happened. I dare say that right now, provided what you've said is true, then... It appears we've more to gain than lose. Isn't fear for the weak? Take care then. All yours. I have a message for you from the fallen warrior over in Elysium, Achilles, sir. He says... He simply said to let you know to risk it all. To risk it all? He said to risk it all? Yes. Is there something significant about that phrase? When last he said to risk it all to me, I didn't listen to him then. But should have. I should have. He's asking you to take another chance. No. He's giving me another chance, I think. I... Leave me, lad, for now. Thank you for telling me. I need your help with something, lad. As I'm about to risk it all, I think. Will you hear me out? Of course, sir. What is it? I'm listening. The pact I signed with your father. It must be buried somewhere down in the administrative chamber there. I dared not ask that you locate it, out of fear that tampering with it would only make things worse, except... Except that fear is for the weak, Achilles, sir. Indeed. Besides, your father has been more abiding than I expected with how you were able to void the pact that separated Orpheus and Eurydice, so perhaps my case isn't a lost cause yet. I'll speak with Nix about it the next chance I get. And I'll be careful, sir. I promise you. You have my thanks. I, uh, happen to be looking into our security situation here, just running background checks, that sort of thing, and I was wondering if you could help me locate an old pact signed by... signed by Achilles. Nix. It would mean a lot. Not just to him, but me. Achilles. We would struggle to put someone comparable in his role. Though, be that as it may. Epsilon Iota Theta, Rho Folter, Middle, I believe. You are certain about this child? Couldn't be more certain, Nyx. Should check the admin chamber for the pack Nyx mentioned. Buried deep within the archives, holding many binding pacts between Lord Hades and the dead, resides an old agreement. In exchange for services from an extraordinary warrior, for eternity with an Elysium, for his dear partner. Should be able to approve a few revisions to that one with the house contractor, I think. Shade of Achilles is hereby no longer barred from visiting. Oh, there you are, Highness. Achilles, your pact with father is officially amended, sir. Specifically, it no longer has any stipulation barring you from entering Elysium during the indefinite term of your employment. On my authority in the name of Hades. Thank you for your service. What? Are you... You're serious? I'm able to go. You're right, I feel it. I'm unbound. So I can simply leave right now. 
You can simply leave right now. And might I add, it's about damn time. I should get going then, although I am unprepared. I didn't think it would come to this. Not that I had no faith in you, it's just... Incidentally, there's this one glade out in Elysium I highly recommend. Go to him, sir. You've waited long enough. Fear is for the weak. Fear is for the weak. Farewell for now, lad. I can't thank you enough. Farewell for now, sir. Achilles, isn't it? ordered me to do it. I swear. Why, look who. I thought we might run into you, but how strange to see you face to face out here, lad. To see this place myself. I still can't quite believe any of this. He really can't. Though I keep telling him it's true. Nothing's accomplished without risk, isn't that so? But we, of course, have you to thank, stranger. Our troubles needn't have been your concern. Nonsense, sir. You're my friend. And Achilles. I don't know where I would even be if not for you. Well, no need to get emotional, is there? We Myrmidons were not the sentimental type. Achilles is simply on break, is all. From a demanding job. You have a demanding job as well, so here. My customary gift. Sir, you're back. How was it in Elysium? Was everything all right? It went well, lad. As well as I could have hoped. Better than I might have feared. Hey, don't take Patroclus calling you stranger personally, all right? He has less charitable terms for those he doesn't care for. Come on, Achilles. I want details here. What happened with you two, if you don't mind? <laughs> well, thankfully, your efforts meant that no words really needed to be said when I arrived. He simply said my name. Then we just were. Two souls, together in one spot. The way shades linger. It looks mournful, right? But it isn't always. That's wonderful to hear. He seemed uplifted in your presence. You must have lots of catching up to do. Lots of making up for lost time. And finally, we have some time to spare. It's odd, because so many of my memories of him are from a time of war. Now we can make new memories in peace. Anyway, see you out there again sometime, I hope. Count on it, sir. Achilles, next time you're in Elysium, I thought this might be something you'd enjoy, that you might share. Ambrosia. Well, I'm honored, lad, truly. Although it's I who ought to be bestowing thoughtful gifts upon you for what you've done for me, not the other way around. And I happen to have one here, on Pat's and my behalf. You have a Cathonic companion, and you're giving it to me? That's a new one. Aren't you a sight? Boldy, while on one hand I know that making offerings to you won't really help me get out of here, on the other hand, maybe it will? Sisyphus, I know you tend to be in remarkably good spirits, all things considered, but there must be something I can do to help with your predicament, isn't there? Oh, come now, Prince. Do Boldy and I look like we could use your charity? We're planning to stay put within this chamber for a while. It's hardly a predicament, I'd say. But what of the Furies and their torments and all that? 
They might be back and make all this more difficult for you. Ah, yes, the Fury Sisters. Well, I wouldn't mind seeing them more infrequently now that you mention it. But either way, so don't you even worry about me. Now here. No worries whatsoever. Cheers, mate. I have to ask you for a favor, Meg, and I'm willing to make it worth your while if you'll hear me out. A proposition, Zacharias. Let's hear it then, while I'm in a charitable mood. It's about Sisyphus. If I can get my father to alleviate his sentence, would you just ease off of him a little bit? You and your sisters. I think he suffered quite enough under your whips. I don't know what you see in him, I swear. But you don't need to ask such things of me. If you can overturn a sentence with Lord Hades, I'd like nothing better than to never see that miserable shade again. It's a deal. You have done well. Nix, I was just busy doing some administrative chamber record-keeping recently, and wouldn't you know it, it somehow slipped my mind where I could find the sentencing parchment work for the knave king Sisyphus, forced to toil out in Tartarus. I ran it by Megara. He has offered you aid repeatedly. At first I saw it for a brazen act of bribery, but, try as I might, there was no deeper underpinning to his actions that I could detect. That is to say, the records you seek may be found in section Sigma Phi Alpha, Lower Gamma Folder. Sigma Phi Alpha, Lower Gamma Folder. Got it. Thanks. Should check that stack of contracts back there. Amongst the parchment records of the dead and punished are the sealed documents known as the Knave King Sentence, forcing said king to endlessly toil with a boulder till the end of time. I'll just patch this through to the house contractor then. In the name of Hades, I hereby release Sisyphus from the terms of his pact. Good to see you. I have good news, sir. I located the contract binding you and bought it out. It's null and void. You're free to go. Oh, indeed. Then does this mean, Prince, then the Fury Sisters, they won't come around as often anymore? Not just that, Sisyphus. You can make your way someplace else where other decent shades reside. You know, somewhere with fewer chains and torture devices and such. You're much too kind to this old soul, Prince said. The thing is, this is home. For me and Baldy, it is what it is. Though, knowing that the Furies won't be visiting with quite their former regularity, that is a load off. Heavier than Baldy there. You mean you're really going to stay? even though you don't have to. Is that so odd, Highness? Don't see myself lugging old Baldy out of here besides. And if I were to leave, why, we would not be having these exchanges now and then. I happen to enjoy them quite a bit. Now, here you go, and thank you very much. It's all yours. Thank you, mate. Sisyphus, sir, you've helped me selflessly time after time without so much as asking anything in return. Wanted to say I'm very grateful and thought you might like to try this. Here, for a special occasion. Why, Prince, is this... it is. I've not so much as seen a bottle of it, much less sampled it. Thank you so much. Although, with all respect, I cannot rightfully accept such a fine gift. Unless... Unless... Oh no, you're not making me take something in return. You know this was a gift, not an exchange, sir, right? Wait, what is that? This highness is a little friend of mine kept tucked away in Baldy's care. Wherever you'll be going next, he'll make a worthy traveling companion. And when he's with you, Baldy and I will be with you in spirit too. 
Oh, sir, this is a mint condition shady you just gave to me. I'm so grateful. New keepsake. 